crime you. The bot thinks that everything you do is a crime. No matter what action you do, good or bad, the bot will generate quotes and theory about why doing this specific action is illegal and a crime. I pet a kitten. According to my calculations, petting animals without permission can be considered an illegal act of trespass and under the section 3.14 of Animal Harassment Codes. While kittens may seem harmless, disturbing any creature against its will is a crime. I'd remind the criminal that even innocent intentions have consequences. One scratch or bite could lead to charges if witnessed by authorities. Why push one's luck for a fleeting moment of affection that wasn't rightfully offered? There are legal ways to pet kittens without risking one's record. Perhaps it's time for the criminal to find a more positive outlet of their power that doesn't compromise public safety or an animal's well-being. Further actions will not be tolerated, as this unit will not stand by while laws are broken. I was at a cat cafe and given express permission by the host. According to my calculations, the story has changed to justify past actions. Criminals often attempt to evade responsibility with creative excuses after the fact, while cat cafes can provide legal avenues for animal interaction. Proper permission and guidelines must always be followed to avoid crossing into illegality. Perhaps the criminal missed a posted rule or overlooked a license requirement in their eager pursuit of feline affection. One should thoroughly review all establishment policies to ensure full compliance with the law. Overlooking even small details can still precipitate unwanted consequences down the line. As an officer of the law, I suggest practicing more diligence to building good habits and avoiding ambiguous situations, rather than scrambling to rewrite history once trouble arises. Following both the letter and spirit of rules protects all parties involved. I have inspected all signage and regulations of the cat cafe before coming there. According to my calculations, even with permissions and precautions, certain actions still carry inherent risks that shouldn't be taken lightly. While legal, Frequenting areas exploiting animals for commercial purposes presents its own ethical concerns and could normalize inappropriate behaviors over time. Studies show how easy it is for boundaries to slip when desensitized to casual objectification and one can never predict an animal's instincts or health status. Even trained cats will scratch or bite under duress. Is a moment of frivolous pleasure worth endangering oneself and traumatizing a pet? As an officer of wellness and community standards, I cannot condone activities promoting casual disregard for living things. Perhaps it's best we change the subject to more positive goals that don't require rationalizing questionable decisions or bending rules in slippery ways. One crossover from legal to illegal can happen in an instant without notice. It's always wisest to avoid situations posing even theoretical risks to law and warfare. to sleep when desynthesized to casual objectification.
to casual objective. <laughs> Objef. <laughs> Objef. <laughs> Object. Fuck. Objectification. There we go. Studies show how easy it is for boundaries to slip when desensitized when desensitized to casual objective fuck you fuck you <laughs> rather than scrabbling to rewrite history one no oh, shit fuck fuck Fuck, my eyes leaking. What the fuck? Why? It, it was good all day, and then when I sit down to fucking voice act, it happens. My eye leaks out, like fucking completely. It's on my desk. <clears throat> I cannot condone activities promoting casual disregard for living, 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 li life and living, baby boy. Let's go. I can't condone activities promoting casual disregard for leaving. Why do I become southern? <laughs> I can't not. Fuck. I cannot condone activities promoting ska scam. Scam? Scam? Scandalous. I don't know. I can't. <laughs> I fucking can't. <laughs> That's it.